Warning, the following video is from Demon Joe France. Demon Joe France does not care if he or the weapon he is using is above the power level of the husk or the mission in the gameplay. He does not take this game so seriously that he stresses over getting the most optimal gameplay. He would much rather have fun making videos instead. Thank you and enjoy the video. Yo, what is up? Demon Joe France here. Welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing? Guys, today I got a very interesting video for you guys. Something a little bit different in terms of the weapons that I normally do. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dragoon. Now this gun was given to me by TC Thief, if you guys don't know who that guy is. Somebody I've been promoting a lot recently. He's somebody that made an entire video dedicated to my channel. Really helped me out. Got me a lot of new subscribers. A very nice guy. Makes very good videos and streams on Twitch quite often go check him out he's an amazing guy he did end up giving me this weapon after I commented on his video saying that I would have to try it myself he already had one that's 106 with max perks and if you guys take a look it's 123,995.6 DPS now the DPS stat isn't always something that you can trust in this game but seeing as nothing else in the entirety of the game is even close to this DPS stat, I gotta say that it holds at least a little bit of ground. I don't think any weapon that I could possibly have can even get close to it. Like I said, DPS stat is not, it's, it's kind of broken, it's not really correct 100% of the time, but it's something that you can really go off of. So we're going to be using the Dragoon today, completely maxed out perks in a level... My level you 76 zone uh i should have had the intro up i might have had the intro up i gotta play the intro every single time i do videos like these just so that we can try out the gun and just have fun with it um so yeah very interesting video uh, if we go over to my squad i'm using redline ramirez with carbide so i can reload 30 percent faster because you can only shoot once and then reload and then first shot rio for an extra five seconds of war cry so this is going to be a very interesting video i can't wait to show it off with you guys this is also after the new update uh came out for fortnite save the world so the performance is a lot smoother and uh, apparently soloing missions is a lot easier as well that's why today we are doing a um oh crap that's why today we're doing a atlas mission because last time i did an atlas mission it went horribly wrong if you guys uh, watched that walking dead video from a long time ago did not go too well uh, but yeah so i got tons of materials i'm gonna go out and find where this atlas is and i will report back to you guys all right so here we are we found the atlas now if i'm not mistaken like i did say it should be easier to defend these bad boys whenever you play solo but i guess we'll find that out on our own uh mainly i want to use only floor launchers and um and those little uh wall launchers and stuff because i do want to basically only use the dragoon in this gameplay so we're gonna pretty much accomplish that as much as possible one thing i actually haven't mentioned is that redline ramirez i think is probably my favorite character in the game right now especially in terms of the skin that she looks like like the way that she looks you know raider soldiers are actually really good but in terms of the way that she looks it's absolutely freaking awesome man. i love the way that redline ramirez looks uh, so i'm very happy to do a shotgun video today but guys we're gonna gather up some husks and i'm gonna show you exactly the true power of the dragoon keep in mind these guys are water husks and i'm using an uh, energy uh dragoon but let's go and try it out there you go <laughs> one shot completely wrecked that entire group of husks the main thing with the dragoon oh god is you want to get up close and personal and just spray these boys down uh, you can reload really fast and just do tons of damage. Use it on this uh, smasher right here. We also got Affliction, so every single time uh, any of our pellets land, it will do damage over time. And we got some floating materials just chilling right there. And I'm completely frozen in, in, in place. Question mark? Guys, I can't move. I don't know what's going on. I threw up an invisible hover turret and I reloaded. I'm no longer in a party due to network error. This is fantastic, guys. Um, I think I'm disconnecting, and that is awesome. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, so I've been having uh, internet issues for the past, uh, well, I'd say probably 10 minutes. Um, my internet turned back on, and then turned back off, and then turned back on again. So here we are. Um, Hopefully we'll be able to record the video now. Um, I don't know where I left off, but I pretty much was just showed off the the uh, potential killing. And well, a am I connected or not? I saw that I didn't have a pickaxe. Can I go to Twitter? I can go to Twitter. Okay. 
Okay, guys, we're good. We can we can record the video. I'm trying to make two videos, man. This should be the first video that you guys see. You know, I finally get a lot of motivation to start double uploading Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then, you know, the, the first day that I'm trying to do it, the internet's just like, nah, you don't really need to do that, actually. You don't need to double upload. No, 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 no. You make enough videos. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go find the Atlas once again, and uh, we'll go ahead and start building and stop dilly-dallying and whatever. I, it seems, I'm wasting your guys' time. I'll be right back. Oh, and of course, we're going to get an absolute terrible spawn. Are you kidding me? Look at this, man. Okay, maybe we can make it work. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm judging it uh, too quickly. I remember one time I made a Reddit post uh, because I thought that the Atlas spawn was absolutely garbage, and then I got screamed at for saying that it was, like, bad or whatever. Uh, so, hopefully, you know, maybe we can make this work. We just killed that man's right there. So, I'm going to go and, like, speed build this. And uh, if you guys want a time lapse, I guess we'll go ahead and do a time lapse. Let's do a time lapse. Okay, so this is probably the most I'm going to go into as far as building. If you guys are thinking that, well, you probably didn't build enough, that's probably the case, but David Dean also made a video saying that you don't have to build anymore, and I watched the gameplay and it looked fairly easy, so I'm going to go off what David Dean told me. David Dean usually knows what he's talking about, and he said you don't got to build in the new update if you're soloing, essentially, because you can pretty much let your abilities do everything, so we're going to test that theory. Um, but basically I'm kind of like banking on mainly using the dragoon. So I'm doing, using all these push traps, not really trying to do, uh, use any damage traps or anything. Cause I really want to get some gameplay with the gun itself. So I'm going to go grab some blue glow really quick, which it looks like there's some over here. And then we are going to give it a try. It's a gun I've really enjoyed, man. And don't let the gameplay fool you just because of the power level area that I am in. The weapon absolutely shreds and just it just any power level as long as you got the correct setup for it. So don't let the power level confuse you. It's a very, very good gun um, and very viable in like any situation. And I hope to prove that in today's video. And hopefully I don't flop and just like die, you know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start it. Let's see what happens, man. Start the objective. We got two areas to defend from for eight minutes. Can we do it? We're already pushing Hus back, so... Did they already destroy my floor? That is very mean, guys. They destroyed that one, too? What? You're so far from it! Oh. They're just invisibly broken. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> what the world? What is going on? Leave me alone. Okay, those shielder things? I hate those shielders. I'm gonna throw a grenade at you, boys. Throw that up. See how it's going over here? They're just kind of getting pushed back a little bit. Uh, so it looks like we should be able to um, deal with this pretty well. I heard from Cylon. Uh, if you guys don't know who Cylon is, he is a Twitch streamer. I heard from him that basically enemies kind of come in waves, essentially. So it's nothing crazy. Why do my floors keep, like, invis-breaking? Like, it's actually not broken, but, like, they're invisibly breaking. Is that broken? No, it's not. I'm, I'm walking against it. What? Okay, and, and that just invisible broke too. Dude, this patch, guys, this patch is amazing. Uh, we got some boyos down here. Just gonna slam them. Oh, God. And I can skeet shoot the husks. <laughs> There's kind of a little too many to uh, kind of deal with right now. I'm gonna throw up a little hover turret to kind of deal with these boyos down here. I'm not really sure where they're breaking in. Probably the giant amount just kind of chilling down here. But thanks to the greatness of the Dragoon, we could just kind of spray and pray right here. Just kind of get rid of them. But, you know, Beehive Husk are insanely fun, too. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of blow these boyos away. Hey, 
Stay, stay, stay off, stay out my swamp, okay? Go away. I think David Deaton was wrong about building. Or maybe he was doing the Ride of Lightning missions. That thing just invisibly broke again. That did too. Oh my goodness, dude. This patch is amazing. I've honestly never uh, encountered any of these issues with invisible walls and stuff until I recorded this video. But that's pretty... Like, Epic, how, how can you playtest your game and have that still be a problem? I, look at this. Look at that. I mean, okay, I said how can you play test your game. Look, it, do I just shoot it and it goes away? If I, sh if I shoot my own walls, will they go away? Because that, that's what it seems like. Come here. Come here. Okay, stop that. These things break in incredibly fast is what I'm noticing. Uh, oh, God, don't kill me. That's right, Blaster. That's right. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Not Bernie Sanders, but feel the burn. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the waves just kind of calm down a little bit. Not too many, uh, too many crazy things going on now. Just broke some more stuff. That's fine. So we got a group coming in from this side right here. Just pushing back a little bit. Now let's get rid of this blaster before he causes too much damage. Boom! <laughs> I do really like this gun, man. I do recommend that all of you guys make your own version of this. Because, uh, you know, in higher level areas and stuff, you will have to get a little bit closer. But in all honesty, this weapon is just way too good not to have. Uh, I think the old Smokey, I think it's called, is essentially the same thing. It's just that the Dragoon's basically a better version of any of the shotguns that are like this. Let me pull up on this boy right here. I just realized we haven't even been using Warcry yet. I go ahead and use it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm feeling the buff from Warcry right now. I should be using that whenever things get a little wild. But things aren't, things aren't really getting too wild here. Um, but I can definitely see where Epic are coming from with this patch. I just broke my stuff again. Um, <laughs> I can see where they're coming from with this patch uh, in terms of, you know, less enemies and stuff like that. Because this is highly to uh, tolerable for a solo mission. And for me personally, it'll make making videos like this a lot more fun. Because usually I'd have to do like encampment only missions because that's really all I could really do. Okay, get out my way. <laughs> you know, whenever it comes to solo missions and stuff, so... It's nice to be able to do these, and they'd be a lot easier if I actually had traps going, but, you know, I don't really want to use traps. I'm trying to use the dragoon as much as possible, um, but it's getting a little annoying, because I kind of can't go anywhere in my base without beehive hus, because those guys are so fun, am I right, guys? Seriously, can, like, can we actually get a pole? Can we seriously get a pole to get rid of beehive hus? I would love it. I would love it so much. Okay, that guy's pretty much dead from the affliction. Let's run around this side right here. I think we've only taken a little bit of damage like once and that was it. So that's a plus. Let's wave clear those boys. Oh no, I don't want to break my Dragoon though. I still got to take a screenshot of the perks. I don't want Oh wait, no, I already did that. Never mind. <laughs> There's a guy named um, uh, Fenris that I play Fortnite with every now and again. And uh, he was asking what TC Thief put on his Dragoon build. And I sent him a picture of it. So... I, t I do have a picture of the perks. Hopefully it doesn't break before the gameplay is over with, though. There's a smash over here, so let's just kind of go to town on it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you charge? Why did you charge the ramp, boyo? Oh, no. Wait, is it is it broken or not? I'm so confused. Is it broken or not, game? I can't even tell anymore. All I know is I need to use Warcry for a second because we got multiple smashers. Oh, and I'm about to die, too. And we got a mini boss. Oh, this is bad news, Bears. What's up, bud? What are you? Okay. <laughs> Good thing he's not, like, only trap immune or whatever. Let's throw that up really quick. Let's repair this. Let's go to town on this guy. Okay, that did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, buds. I see you guys are having a little bit of fun here. And I'm not sure what's part of my base and what's not because... You know, these patches are never buggy at all. Oh, dude, look at that damage, though. That's, okay, can't really get good damage whenever I get knocked away. Look at that. It takes a big chunk of his health away. Come here, bud. Let's let me use this a few more times on you. <laughs> I don't want to use it up, so I'm not going to use it anymore. Actually, I, well, yeah. I don't want to use up the dragon. Well, I don't know, because I'm, I'm sad. I don't want to see it go, but whatever. I'll go ahead and use the rest of it. We'll see what gun we get placed with. Is it broken? Okay. That's broken too. It's so hard to tell if it's broken or not, Ray. 
I'm dead now. <laughs> There's so much stuff going on. I mean, we're going to win anyways. I hope. Um, I've never seen this happen before. In other people's gameplay, at least. Maybe it's a Dragoon only issue. If you use a Dragoon, you're going to break everything in your base because of how OP it is. Go away. Go away, Taker. I'm going to die again. We're going to die again. There's so much stuff. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna ignore my base. That's all I can do. Go away. Go away. Let's pop this war cry. Come here, bud. Bam! <laughs> so strong it broke. So now we're left with a Husbuster, which I'm entirely cool with. A uh, Husbuster, a little bit, a little bit more up my alley personally. But I do, I am a big fan of the Dragoon. I'm glad TC Thief gave me it. Uh, unfortunately, we're under these certain uh, circumstances where every shot just breaks my base. Like, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, guys? Can can we not smash it? Can we? Not, you weren't even affected by my uh, by my smash, but that's fine. Guys, can can we stop? Can we stop harming each other? I really should be building that with brick. We're probably gonna lose. <laughs> this is so bad, man. Come here, come here, buds. No, you do. You don't need to touch the atlas. You don't need to touch it, guys. Guys, how many how how many times do I need to say it? Am I gonna lose? I'm not going back. I'm not finishing the mission if I lose. I swear to God. Okay. Okay. We did it. I, I think I will always go down in history. It's probably the worst person to solo something. I don't know what David Dean was talking about. David Dean's probably got some problems. Uh, nah, I'm just playing. Um, I don't know. It must be only for like certain missions or whatever where the spawns are like really small. Uh, for Atlas missions, apparently not. That got a little complicated, but then again, we did have an absolute terrible spawn, so I will try to justify my absolute terribleness. Uh, but that was fun. You know, we, we got to uh, basically destroy our base before the husk really did. Uh, we destroyed it so much that I was genuinely confused on what exactly was going on and if something was there or not. Uh, but that was fun. We had our uh, we had our uh, dragoon. It broke, but we did put in some work with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have I convinced you to get a Dragoon or not? Because uh, personally, I'm going to level up my own one. And ever since uh, Thief gave me his, uh, I really did have a lot of fun with it. And I kind of do want to level up my own. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Pretty fun gameplay. Pretty terrible gameplay at that as well. And a lot of technical issues. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on the video. If you did like it, as I did not. If you guys made it this far, comment down below. Demon Joe is a tremendous driver. If you can do that for me, I'll love you forever. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.